Hello and welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video we'll be looking at another deck for the standard format, for the upcoming standard format to be uh, more precise, and this is a Xerneas Break with the Giratina EX. So Xerneas Break will say that you can hit with the live stream for, uh, for 20 plus 20 more for each energy attached. Uh, actually for 20 times the each energy attached to all of your Pokemons in play. And this is very strong, with 5 energies in play uh, you can one hit knock out your opponent Giratina in a mirror match. Actually, with six you can hit for 240, um, which will uh, for yeah for uh, 240, which will be enough to knock out even Giratina with Fighting Fury Belt. So very very strong. Uh, with Xerneas Geomancy, you can pretty much accelerate your bench, adding two more uh, energies to your bench and Pokémon, which is very very great. And also uh, with Giratina EX as the backup support attacker, you can use Chaos Wheel. You can prevent your opponent from playing tool cards, special energy stadium cards, and also you can control the game and uh, control Mega Evolutions from being able to attack your Giratina EX. In my opinion, those two uh, cards work pretty perfectly. And of course, two Shaming EX for the setup. You need to have some kind of the draw support. From item cards, I decide to run one a copy of Escape Rope. As usual, it's always good to have in your deck because sometimes you can just force your opponent with Escape Rope and he might not be able um, to retreat, but also you can take advantage by playing escape rope so you can actually just knock out his Pokemon on the bench with it. Uh, four copies of Max Elixir to get some extra acceleration with those um, fairy energies, so basically um, it's always good to have Max Elixir because even later in game when you play Super Odin and you have so Max Elixirs and low amount of the cards in your deck, you might be even able to get some extra energies and extra acceleration. To repeat ball, I decide to run because they're very good. I mean, it can help you a lot just in case you start with the Xerneas, you can repeat ball for another Xerneas, or even if you have another Shaman in play, you can just repeat ball for another without discarding extra cards from your hand, in my opinion, very good card. I want special charge just because you want to have those double dragon energies recycled back in your deck since we also have that super road which will help us to put those Giratinas and just the regular basic energy cards from the disc of pilot back into deck. As usual, four copies of Trainer's Mail, Ultra Ball and V-Seeker as a staple uh, for this build. A uh, copy of Deliquent, always good because you never know, maybe your opponent actually uh, Pearl City or something like that, but you can actually get rid of his stadium from play. And basically, you can actually force him to discard even three more cards in addition to that. Uh, Hex Maniac, always good, uh, because you can shut down your opponent's abilities. Definitely very, very good card. Uh, same as uh, Deliquent 2, uh, Disruptive Cards. Um, copy of Lysander, uh, two ends, and one Ranger. Ranger is good because with it you can just um, shut down those uh, Jolteon or uh, or Jolteon, Giratina ab abilities. Of effects of attacks, uh, even those uh, reg Regis and uh, Glacians. So, very important to have a Ranger in this build. Uh, four Sycamores, uh, two Fairy Garden for the free retreat. This is the most important card in this deck, I should definitely say that, because you just want to have free retreat without uh, discarding energy cards. Two XP Share, which is also very important, just because you want to have XP Share in your bench. It, Xernia, so basically when you get knockout from um, your opponent, you're not going to lose any of your energy, so this is very important. Uh, 2 Fighting Fury Belts, 12 energies in total, 4 Double Dragon and 8 Fairy Energy. So pretty much very interesting deck build. I tested a lot and it works pretty well, even if you actually manage to get very bad draft support, which will be which you will actually see in the game number two, I actually managed to um, get full recover from that. So even if you get bad draw, you can definitely get back by adding your opponent down to one or two cards and pretty much getting the victory in that match. So yeah, pretty much if you're looking for any of these cards as usual, check ccgcast.com with promotion code DCGCENTER5. You can also get 5% discount on your purchase. You can definitely see all instructions in my video description. So let's move to the game test so you can actually see how this deck will work. Alright, so I will start with my Xerneas, <clears throat> which is not that bad. I also have Repeat Ball and Ultra Ball uh, plus V Seeker, so I can definitely uh, have turn one uh, pretty, a pretty good setup. So I can Ultra Ball for Shaming, I can uh, Repeat Ball for another Xerneas, and I can even end for like uh, six new cards after that uh, Shaming setup, which is very good. On the other side, we have some kind of uh, fighting deck. I will assume that according to my opponent's lips. So he started with his uh, Remorite. Very nice. So 
uh, always when Remoraid is in question, I thinking about some Nani X deck uh, because if you run Octillery, Octillery with a Bezel Hand is perfect card for Nani X deck in my opinion. So let's see. Um, Remoraid in the active, uh, pretty much a uh, hand full of seven cards. There's Ultra Ball. And basically, right now, we are going to see what else he plays. So there's another Ultra Ball and a Judge. And uh, what kind of Pokemon he will grab? Gable, so it's a Garchomp deck. Alright, so I guess I can go pretty fast um, through the Garchomp deck with my Xerneas. The only problem is that the Garchomp can actually one-hit knock on my Giratina, so I might need to be very cautious about that. Um, okay, so there's a Lysander, one Rare Candy, and Gabite discarded. It's always nice to see Rare Candy discarded. There's a Focus Sash. And Fighting Stadium, alright, so... I mean, that Focus Sash is a little bit tricky right here, but... <clears throat> hopefully I will get um, some way to uh, go across with it. So, there's a Deliquent in my hand, which is very good. So, first I'm going to play my re Repeat Ball for one more Xerneas. I have six energies, I have three max elixirs, so two energies prized. Okay, just to know a little bit about that. I guess I can play my Ultra Ball and I can choose two cards, well, and and Deliquent definitely for one. Giratina, I guess, and after that I can even go with another Ultra Ball for one Shaman, I guess, so I think this would be the best combo. Alright, so this will be a setup of six cards, and I'm more than happy with uh, this turn one setup, so I just need one energy, one Fairy energy actually, and some of my Max Elixirs, so no sign of the Fairy energy, but there are two Max Elixirs, so the first one is good. Let's see the second one. And the second one is good. Alright, not bad. Fairy Garden. Uh, set up for four. Hopefully I will get at least a Skate Rope or another Fairy Energy so I can use my Fairy Garden. Alright. No sign of it. So there's a Trainer's Mail um, for XP Share and Ultra Ball, but I guess I will grab my uh, Fighting Fury Belt. We'll go with the V Seeker 4N, and I'm not going to attach my Double Dragon energy. I will take a risk for that Fairy energy. Come on, give me the Fairy energy. No sign of the Fairy energy. So I guess I'm going to attach my Double Chorus, uh, Double Dragon energy on my Giratina. Put down another Xerneas on the bench. Pretty much best turn. So was not able to use that Geomancy turn one because I was short for the energy. I guess not a big deal. So I have like two Xerneas on my bench and uh, probably I will maybe suffer the knockout um, with next turn. So that's the reason why I decided to put one more Xerneas on my bench instead of maybe Ultra Ball for another um, Giratina. Uh, there is Secret Ash, but just for the single um, Gabite, I I'm not sure how good that actually is. So there's Level Ball, he can choose between Octillery and another Gable. I will assume to see maybe another Gable better instead of the another instead of the Octillery, but uh, we'll definitely see that. He decided to go with a Gabite. All right, so he can just evolve, which means that I don't need to worry for now about knockout. <clears throat> another strong energy. And another Focus Sash attached on the Remoraid, and it's pretty much my turn. So there's another Max Elixir. I guess I can use it. Alright. And basically all I can do is just Ultra Ball for um, one of my Xerneas breaks, put him in play, and basically um, go with my Double Dragon Energy attachment. And uh, I'm without actually uh, card, cards in my hand so I cannot retreat but uh, if I'm able to retreat next turn I can just use my Chaos Wheel I can hit for quite a lot of damage right here and uh, there's a card for my opponent so will he might be able even to retreat right here and maybe surprise me with the Lysander 
uh, hitting for like uh, 200. Oh, there's a Sycamore, so no sign of the Lysander for him. But at least he can grab seven new cards. He can try to expand a little bit more. So there's a level ball. So right now he might be looking forward to grab something like another Gable. On the other side, hitting for 120 Miserniums will not he will not knock him out, which is a good thing. And hopefully I'm going to be able to retreat somehow on my next turn. So there's a guard jump and there's a bite off for like 120 or even better turbo assault. So he can actually uh, attach some energies on his bench at Gable. I would personally do that. Oh, what a top deck, Professor Sycamore. And there's an XP share. There is even one more repeat ball, which means that I can grab another Azernius Brick, put it into play. And the biggest concern right there is how to retreat without... Yeah, pretty much, there is no way that I can retreat and attack. I guess I'm forced to use my um, retreat, or maybe Geomancy, let me just count how many energies I have in play. I had six in my deck, so there is one, two, three, four, five, which means that I have still one left. Mm. I will definitely attack with my Giratina, just because I know that he will not be able to one-hit knock at my Giratina without Stadium in play, but he cannot even play Stadium right now. And he cannot even play tools or special energy cards. The maximum damage that, that Karchim can hit is still 100 at this moment. So basically without Starling Megaphone he is not going to be able to knock out my Giratina right here. And basically I can just retreat to one of my Xerneas breaks and uh, finish the job by knocking his Garchim out. And uh, that's definitely going in my favor. So there's Corina. Will that Corrine actually gave him the chance to pull Starling Megaphone to get rid of my Fighting Fury Belt and uh, hit for 200? We should see that. Mm, he can grab Garchomp and Starling Megaphone, as expected. So my Giratina is going to be knocked out and I'm going to lose a lot of energies right here. And also my XP shares. And this hurts a lot, but actually that's not going to be um, able in a Primal Clash on format, so I don't need to worry about that. Alright, so right now I lost all of my XP shares and I cannot put them back into the play. I guess I'm going just to... Um, I can hit for 80. I'm definitely looking forward to play my uh, Lysander to knock out his um, Gabite, Gabite on the bench for 80. Just because I need less resources actually to one hit knock out his guard jump next turn, and uh, he will be without attacker. And there's a fairy energy just pulled, which will actually give me the chance to knock out his guard jump, and that's very important. So there's a level ball, so he's definitely looking forward for another gable so he can put it on the bench. But that starling megaphone was just a way too big, so there's level ball for artillery. <coughs> Alright, and what else he can do on this turn? It's very questionable, but I know that I need uh, something like uh, Super Road so I can put back some of my resources back into my deck. Oh, there's a Lysander, and he's decided to knock out my Shaney right here for two more prizes. So I guess getting something like N will not work that good because he had that artillery in play. But definitely getting a chance to knock out Shaman for two prizes is not that bad. So I'm going with my Xerneas breaking the active. And I'm going to hit with my live stream. Enough for the knockout 100. So he is without attacker right now. And uh, all I really need is maybe just a V signal for Lysander. Or there's even escape rope, which will help a lot. So basically, even if he gets another cable and put it down to the bench, I can just easily escape rope to my another Azernia's break and knock out his cable from the bench. So there is cable, cable, and rare candy. All right. Energy, and I guess this will be pretty much it for my opponent for now. Even if he actually lies under my shaming, I can free retreat because I have a fairy energy in my hand, and that's very important. 
But on the other side, he cannot play Lysander this turn because he already played that um, Corina. So it's my turn. And right now you see why Escape Probe again is a very good card in pretty much every deck these days. So I'm going to knock out right here with this live stream. But yeah, pretty much there's a knockout and he just decided to concede the game. So let's move to uh, game number two. Alright guys, so uh, welcome to game number two for this uh, Xerneas break and Chiratina deck test. So waiting for my opponent to uh, flip the coin and actually he won that coin flip so he can actually start first. Let's take a look. I'm playing against fighting deck so it might be um, Rage Rock with the Zygarde, it might be Kartram again or it might be just a pure Medicham uh, deck, but it's another uh, Garchomp Machamp deck, so this is going to be a very interesting. At least I'm playing against next, um, I guess, budget build. So I'm starting with my um, Shaming X in the Echo Spot. I'm not happy with that. Not for sure, but at least I have one Chibola Repeat Ball, so I can, I can take some um, of the cards. And I can also set up on my turn one. So there's a carving on the other side. So seeing the carving in the active spot, it's always giving me head edge. So there's a muscle bend. And let's see if he can get anything else. No, he just decided to pass his turn. So I'm going to play my trainer's mail first. Um, there's just another fighting fury belt. Alright, so right now I'm going to play my Ultra Ball and I'm going to discard one of the Fighting Fury Belts and one of my V Seeker for Giratina. I'm going to attach my uh, Fighting Fury Belt onto Giratina. We'll also play my Trainer's Mail. Let's see if I can maybe get Stadium. No sign of the Stadium, but there's a Max Elixir, so I can definitely use that before I actually decide to go with my Repeat Ball for the Shaman. Alright, so let's go with the Repeat Ball. Let's grab that Shaman for the setup. But before we do that, of course, I'm going to attach energy to my active shaming so I can retreat. And there it is, set up for 6. Uh, there's double Ultra Ball, so I guess I can play that for my Xerneas. Hmm. Not sure what else to do, maybe another Ultra Ball. Want to keep that via secret, but I don't know for what. Basically, I cannot do pretty much nothing else right here, so I do pretty much everything. I will keep that Super Road for later. I have actually decided to keep it so I can put back my uh, Xerneas into my deck. I don't have third shame, so I cannot set up for anything else. I guess I, I can just hope to get maybe another Max Elixir and uh, somehow power up my Giratina, but on the other side he can use just Power Jam, hit for like a 60 and to pass his turn, so let's see what's the top deck, another Giratina EX, so... I guess it's time to retreat on my Xerneas, pass my turn, and uh, wait to see what what my opponent can do next turn, so just again use Power Gem, so he just decided to stick with the carving in the active. Alright, there's another double Dragon Energy. Let's pass the turn. So I'm getting knocked out this turn, which is very badly. Um, there is one fighting energy attached on that Lucario. There's a power gem for the knockout, so I guess I'm going to promote my shaming without damage counters in the active spot. I'm going to play my Super Road, so I can put back my cards in deck, and I'm going to pass. So at least I have Giratina ready to attack. So if I can get um, very good top deck like uh, maybe Hex Maniac. Then I can maybe try to wait uh, for that knockout and just surprise him with my um, Giratina. So far I cannot do anything. And I'm not happy with that. So there's and finally. And this will actually change things a little bit. So there is two Max Elixirs and XP Share. So can I get more energy cards? No. First Max Elixir, no energy. Second Max Elixir, no energy. And yeah, I guess I will just attach that XP share and pass the turn.
Right, right now you can see how frustrating carving can be when you actually face it up um, in a match. Luckily I have that V Seeker, so I'm going to get knock it out next turn and uh, this turn and basically I can just end my opponent down to three cards, which is very good. It's not lost yet, so never give up. You can always win. There is always a chance to win. So there's another power gem for 60 and uh, I'm going to promote right now another... Actually, I'm going to promote my Giratina in the active spot just because there is a fairy card and I can play that N and I can get six cards. I can end my opponent down to three cards. I can even maybe give him an opportunity to end him down to one. Oh, very nice. There is a Xerneas and Escape Rope. So I know what I'm going to do right here. There is a Max Elixir. Again, no energy card. I'm going to play my Beatball just to see how many energies I have left. Three energies. Three fairy energies left in my deck. Okay, very interesting. I guess I can retreat. Or even better, I can retreat and maybe force my opponent uh, with escape rope to promote something else in the active spot. So maybe he actually promote that Lucario and I can actually hit it for like uh, 110. I'm not sure how that good is. Or I can just go with my um, Geomancy. I guess I will go with my Geomancy right there. And basically power up more um, Xerneas and uh, Giratina on the bench. And actually next turn I can uh, one hit knock on his carving. Basically I just need to get my Xerneas break. Which is I guess not that hard to get. So there is a fighting stadium. And a rare candy for Garchomp. Alright, so he's down to one card and there's a Gable. So right now I know that he don't have anything in his hand. So he just depends on the top deck. He just decides to retreat on the uh, Lucario. So he can use Core Crew Smash for 60. Actually 80 and drop a fresh hand of 6 new cards. Which is actually pretty a good turn of play. And I guess I'm forced to play my Sycamore right here. Uh, don't like to see that, but energy and Xerneas break will do the job. Well, there is a Xerneas break, but there is no energy card in my hand. I guess I'm going to use my special charge. I'm going to put my stadium in play. Also do my Ultra Ball right here. Pretty much for another Azernius, put it down to my bench. Just to thin a little bit more of the cards that I have. Uh, use my special charge, put back my two double dragon energies into my deck. Actually, retreat. And uh, pretty much. Pretty much hit with that Chaos Wheel. So I will have my stadium in play. My opponent will not be able to do anything. He, he cannot even one hit me not knock out with his guard jump on the bench which is very good. On the other side even if he retreats down to the carving and just try to use power gem I can be secret for Hex Maniac and I can knock him out. So I don't need to worry about that. Okay so let's see what his move is. But even better I can even end him down to three cards. There's a center lady, which is actually a very big deal right here. And there's one more energy, so he can hit for 120. There's Professor's Leather. Alright, for two more fighting energy cards. And I guess I might be taking a big risk right here next turn with, with another V Seeker for N because his hand is just way too big. And I definitely need to get that fairy energy card so let's just go with N basically and uh, let's try to get fairy energy so I can actually knock out his um, Lucario with my Xerneas break and yes there it is so this is very important right now so I'm going to attach my another Xerneas break in play 
And I can write here a retreat for free. And one hit knockout, he's Lucario right there with my live stream, which is very important. So he just have right now that carving with the safeguard, and he also have just only that guard chunk. He's down to three cards. I do have another and Lysander, so even if he somehow managed to Lysander my Gir Giratina, he can go down to one prize, and then I can surprise him with another and down to one card. And I guess from that point, it will definitely be very hard for my opponent. So there's a Steven. So right now I know that he's definitely looking for that Lysander. Oh no, he just, just decided to get that uh, Corina. And there's a Muscle Band, so he can hit for like... Uh, Turbo Assault for 80. He's definitely going to attach some energies. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. I'm down to four cards. It's very risky even to play anything. So I guess I can just... Hmm, not sure actually what to do next. I will just end my opponent again just because I know that he had that Karina and I don't have another option I will get again four cards, I don't need to attach energy anywhere I just need to one hit knockout again, he's guard jump and hope that he does not have Karina or VC for maybe to grab another Karina actually and play it, but unfortunately for him in his discard pile is no Karina which is very good and there's a Deliquent and that Deliquent can definitely be a big deal right here um, all right, there's a Scorched Earth, and that carving actually need one energy to knock out my uh, Xerneas break right here for the 60. And that energy needs to be actually a strong energy, but will he be able to get one? We shall see. So even if I started very badly, I actually, at, uh, in the end, uh, with that N, recover very well. So we're both equal right now to the three prizes, and there's the air nose, so... That means that there will be no... Oh, there's Evo Soda, so he can grab Carving Break right here. And he actually decided to grab a Gabite instead of the Carving Break. And there's a Muscle Band. And pretty much he might not be even able to uh, knock out my Xerneas Break. But if he cannot knock out my Xerneas Break, I guess this is pretty much GG. Oh no, there's a... There's a... Oh my goodness. There was actually a strong energy and... I guess I might do the bad decision. Actually, uh, when I decide to... Yeah, I might do the bad decision when I actually decide to evolve this Xerneas break and attach that... Um... Hmm. Let's see what I can do. Another double dragon energy was the... Okay, so I have Lysander. So there is a hope, actually. There is a hope, actually. So I'm going to knock out his... Gabite. So if I can actually get V Seeker from my, from my prize, I might be able to uh, win this matchup. So I have one V Seeker left, but actually my opponent probably have Oh, there's a VS Seeker, but he actually has probably Lysander in his hand, so he can just Lysander either way my Shaman or Giratina for the GG, so... Yeah, at least... I was very close to win this, but I actually end up by losing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, it was definitely an uh, interesting matchup. I started pretty badly, but uh, at the end I almost get the victory, so... Once again, there's a full deck list. If you're looking to build um, something like that, you can definitely use mine and uh, try to play with it. So until the next time, have a nice day and uh, goodbye. Alright guys, welcome back to the game number two. So I'm starting second and hopefully I'm going to be able to use my Geomancy on my turn one. So um, there's a Xerneas in the opening hand, there's a Giratina for the bench. I also have Max Elixir and N, which is more than good. On the other side, it's a Glacian EX. All right, so that Crystal Ray is very tricky. It will actually unlock my Xerneas Brain from attacking, but it definitely needs to get 
I'm Ranger in order to shut down that crystal ray so I can just go through the ability. Actually through the effect of the attack. So it's my turn. Very nice top deck. Let's see what we can get with the Max Elixir. Oh, there's one more energy. And I'm going to play my N. I'm definitely looking forward for one more Pokemon so I can put it down to the bench. And there it is, another Xerneas. Very nice. So let's see what we can get with that Trainer's Mail. Maybe another... Oh, there's a Hex Maniac. I guess I can grab that. And uh, I'm going to play my Geomancy. I decide to grab actually Hex Maniac just because... I don't want to discard yet my um, stadium from play, and I even don't want to actually play my stadium yet, so I might just continue going with my N for like one more turn, because having stadium for the late game is definitely very good, so I can just have free retreat and also remove my opponent, probably uh, maybe um, rough seas, depend on what he plays. So there's a Jolteon and Manaphy, so definitely uh, some kind of the... Uh, attack lock deck, so the Jolteon is definitely very good. And right now he can use his Crystal Ray, which means that I will not be able to attack with my Xerneas break. Okay, but I guess I can go with one more turn of that Geomancy. Or I can even just Lysander his Hoopa in the active spot, but I guess this is not that good. This is not that good at all. But maybe I can even knock out his Shaman, or who knows? Who knows what I can top deck? Ultra Ball would be the best thing. So there's a Crystal Ray for 70. My top deck is uh, Sycamore. Okay. I guess I'm going to play Sycamore right now. So I'm going also to discard at Hex Maniac. So there's Ultra Ball. There is. Um, Double Dragon. And there is also Ultra Ball and that Max Elixir. And I don't know. Should I play Ultra Ball for Sycamore and V Seeker? I can do that actually. To grab maybe another um, Giratina for the next turn. Maybe try to power up that Giratina. So there is a Max Elixir. What we can get with it. Unfortunately, no energy, but I can go with my Shaman for uh, five more extra cards, and I might be able to hit one more or two Max Elixirs. There is XP Share, very nice. There is another Max Elixir. Unfortunately, no energy again. And I think it's just time to use my Chaos Wheel so I can actually hit for 100. Prevent my opponent actually from being able to play double colors energy, so that Jolteon will not be the big threat, I guess, because it will require actually three uh, energies in order to attack my Giratina and to attack Lock Me. So I'm in very good position right now. From this point, I can just get 70 damage from that Crystal Ray, maybe 90 or 80, depending on the max, um, depending on the Fighting Fury Belt or Muscle Band. So. There's a Zerosic. Alright, not a big deal. Luckily I have another Double Dragon in my hand, so I don't need to worry about that. No Stadium, no Tool, and no Special Energy for my opponent. I totally uh, forget about that. I do have um, Super O in my hand, but I cannot play it. There's Rayquaza, interesting. So he even have that Rayquaza in his deck. Very nice. So, I'm going to knock out the Glacier next turn. There is one Water Energy attached to the Jolteon. Unfortunately, without Lighting Energy, he's not going to be able to do anything. And I'm going to play my Sycamore right here. So, Sycamore for 7. There is another Xerneas break, but the most important, there is a Fighting Fury Belt. So let's see what I can get with my Trainer's Mail. Another Fighting Fury Belt, so I guess I can grab that and attach to my Giratina number 2. Try to get one more energy with the Max Elixir, but no sign of it. Alright. So I have four more energies left, but the question uh, is where they actually are located. 
let's make uh, let's evolve into the break and uh, basically let's take a look on the rest of the cards in my deck so I can even go with one more setup right here I don't see reason why I wouldn't do that so extra setup is always good Alright, so two be secrets for the next turn, and also Deliquent, which can definitely be very devastating for my opponent. So there is another Chaos Wheel, so I managed to, again, prevent my opponent from playing Special Energy cards, uh, Stadium cards. There is even Pokemon Ranger right now in my hand, so even if he somehow managed to attack me with his Flash Ray, I can just use power, uh, Pokemon Ranger and go through that. I also have double Xerneas break on my bench, so I also don't need to worry about that. I can maybe even just one hit Naga, he's Jolty on next turn somehow. So there's AZ on that Shaman, so you can definitely try to set up. I need to count how many energies I need to have in play. I actually need to have 8 energies in play. And right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I can hit for 120. I need one more Max Elixir, 1 energy attachment, and that's not going to happen. But I do have my V-Seeker for that Lysander, so I can just easily Lysander his Shaman for two prizes. So there's Swift for 30. And basically I'm going to knock out his Manaphy on the bench. I think this is the most important thing right now to do. So let's just... Oh, actually I cannot one-hit knock out his Manaphy. Which means that I need to one-hit knock out his Shaman for two more prizes right there. And basically... I'm more than happy with doing that. So I'm down to two prizes. Even if he ends me, I will just need to get like one energy to being able to knock out something like his Jolteon. So I don't need to worry about that. Um, getting Starling Megaphone can actually knock out my Zer uh, Giratina right here. And that can definitely bring, bring me into trouble. So I didn't uh, count on that. So there's a V secret for Xerosix. So he's going to scrap my Double Dragon energy from my Giratina. And uh, I still have two more left in my deck. So there's another Flash Ray for 70. But right now I cannot attack his Jolteon, but I can use that Ultra Ball. All right. I can use another Trainer's Mail. To get that Ultra Ball and basically what do I need right here to knock out his Jolteon? Let me see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 energies which will not be enough to one hit knock out his Jolteon. Okay, very tricky. Huh. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright, never mind. Let's go with Escape Rope. Let's see what he will promote in the active spot. I mean, I do have that Ranger, I could just play my Ranger, but maybe he actually just gave me the Manaphy in the active position, but I probably would not expect that. Let's take a look. If he actually decides to give me the Manaphy, then I can just go with my Sycamore for 7 and uh, grab that last um, energy that I need. No, he decided to go with his Rayquaza. All right, I guess I can use my energy attachment. I can uh, be a seeker for the Lysander. And I can actually just Lysander his Manaphy. I didn't see that. And hit for 120 and guess the knockout. It actually takes a little bit to realize that. But yeah, it's pretty much GG. So, as you can see, I managed to grab pretty easily uh, two victories with this deck. It definitely works very nice. It's just amazing deck. It has so much potential for the future format. It has so many different options that you can actually do with this deck. Those um, experience shares can help you a lot with that Xerneas break. And again, that Xerneas break can hit for a lot of damage. And as you can see, those Max Elixirs and even Repeat Ball working very well. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more future videos. What, what is the most important thing about that? And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. 
Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's video, also for the upcoming giveaway. I still didn't uh, post that, but I will definitely do that probably today later. And yeah, um, stay tuned and pretty much have a nice day. So goodbye.